What's up guys and welcome back to Poppy Breakdowns, it is Joe Gorchi here and in today's breakdown video we are going to be breaking down a Lanny slash Lauv indie alternative pop type beat that I made. The whole purpose of this video is as someone who took the academic route of learning music production, I actually found the best way to learn new tricks and skills as a music producer was watching other producers break down their own beats. So I started this channel so you can watch me do that and hopefully you take away some things from this video that you can use in your future productions. So with that out of the way, if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button right now because it is the best way to support the channel. Let's get this channel to 100 subscribers by the end of 2022. If we could do that, that would be insane. But with that mandatory out of the way, let's jump straight into this video. Let's jump straight into Logic and let's break down this beat. Okay, so what I do for my productions, those of you who watch my channel regularly will probably be sick of me saying this, but I always like to work beat down from the top. So the order that these tracks are here is the order that I actually added them to the project. So you're actually going to see how I created this track and the steps that I made to do it. So the first thing that I wanted to do was really set the tempo. After listening to some Lanny and Loud songs, I wanted this track to be sort of like chill but have some sort of upbeat feel to it at the same time so i picked a tempo of 100 i thought that it would be good and i started with the drum beat this time round. so let's break this down if we look a bit closer i started with the kick and it was a sample kick that i put in this time which i dragged in from splice accompanied that with a snare I feel like these is uh, two samples that you're going to start hearing a lot more often on this channel. I love these two. I have them saved in my Splice library. That's the one thing that's very good about Splice. For £6 a month, you can get unlimited amount of samples if you save up your tokens. And you can add them to your library so you can use them over and over again. So recently, I've been building this catalogue of sounds I absolutely love on Splice. I don't have to search as much through the library anymore on Splice. I have my you know, desired sounds that I like. And this kick and snare are two of them. And I accompany that with... Logic's own drum kit and I added some hi-hats just to again like you know start building this drum kit very simple and I throw in an open hi-hat with the close hi-hats just you know to add a little bit of stamp in the bars just so there's something a little bit more going on now with the drums made pretty simple pretty standard stuff at this point this is where I wanted to start adding the actual vibe to the song so this is the first thing that I added I chose the chords I wanted to do and I used the mini v3 and now this interestingly i haven't showed you this channel before this is by arturia so this keyboard that you can see to the right of me is called the arturia key lab 49 and this is software that you get free when you purchase this keyboard and i wanted to, by the time i was making this beat i just purchased this uh, midi controller so i got this free so i was playing around with it and i used the campfire preset and it sounded pretty awesome And it reminded me of Lanny, that sort of electric piano vibe. But I wasn't done there with the electric piano sound. I also added the double tracked, uh, I think it's Whir Whirly, I don't know, Whirly. This is a preset in Logic, which you can find here in the preset library of keyboards. And it sounds like this. Classic electric piano song. Let's blend the two together. Again, one thing I highly recommend if you're watching this video right now is don't always go looking for the exact sound that you're looking for when you're producing a track. If you have a sort of idea in your head of the sort of sound of an instrument or a texture you want to add to production, don't just try and find the exact sound. I always derive the sounds that I want by blending together. Try and pick apart loads of different, you know, textures, sounds that you find or instruments that you get, again, in your library. And if you blend together, you sometimes find that some instruments will cover the low aspect of whatever sound you're looking for and some will cover the high or blend the two together and it creates a whole new sound and it's a really good way to be original so even though there are presets in there which you could probably debate that a lot of producers would use so you might feel that you're not being original you still can be you just got to you know make the most of blending together sounds to create something that's your own so with that next i moved on to the next part of the production with the pad And this is massive by Native Instruments. I love this. This is a very nice sound bank of different instruments here. And I use the pad this time. I don't actually normally use massive for pads, but I felt this time, you know, branching out, changing up a bit. And again, this is very simple. This is just playing like the root chord and it just sustains throughout. But again, we now got the atmosphere. 
and I love this because I didn't have to add any more pads because this had it all. It had the movement, it had an ever-changing modulated dynamic to it. And again, like it just really felt nice from an ambience point of view. So it ticked all the boxes. So this time around, I didn't have to layer too many pads for this one. And I think I just got lucky finding the exact sound that I wanted. Now we move on to the guitar. So this for me was kind of what makes it any song like uh, loud songs i always think of like the music guitar nice reverberant and sort of drum like very mellow sounding guitar at the same time so this is the first thing i added in this is the uplifting guitar in the song next i added in this layer of guitar a lot more lower because again into the indie all alternative side like Lanny's songs it's very interesting dynamic that they have because they could be both very mellow and chill and then rocky at the same time so I wanted to try and incorporate that into the song so that's why we've got some distorted guitar in here and then this one's a lot more reverberant and I really wanted to try and add these as a rise as well so I copied and pasted it here and I created a little bit of automation which in Logic by the way if you hit T then it brings up your search bar and then you can go down to I believe it is uh, A so TA there we go to fade tool and then you can do these little drags here and it creates this effect just to help create a little bit of a, a build into the chorus let's have a look what that sounds like if we put that all together in context And again, like it sounds good so far, but it's missing something. It's missing the low end and it's also missing the rises to really connect the pre-chorus and the chorus together. So the first thing I'm going to add was my classic analog bass, which is a preset from the retro synth in Logic. You would have seen this in previous videos. I absolutely love this analog synth bass. For someone who produces a lot of synth sort of influence productions, this is a great bass to have. Just playing the root notes, it sounds great. And when you add that in, it, I like how, because I did the quarter notes, it's adding a little certain bounce to the track, which is complementing the drums, which tied in together lastly with some crashes. One is a reverse crash and one's a normal crash. You get something in the end which sounds like this. And there you go, very simple production today's one, but I didn't want to overcomplicate this because one thing that's very interesting about Lanny Lau songs, you actually listen to them, there actually isn't a lot into the production at all. It's more the fact that when you're making beats for someone, in aspect, you've got to try and leave that sort of inspiration free for the vocals to be added. But you can hear, like, when you add all of these things together, it creates a track which, you know, it's, it's a vibe, it sounds like a song when you put the vocals over the top, like, it really matches that Lanny and Lauv energy where it's mellow, yet the chorus is very uplifting and emotional at the same time. So yeah, guys, that was my breakdown of a Lanny and Lauv in the alternative pop type beat. If you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button right now as it is the best way to support the channel and also comment below any other artists that you want me to do beat breakdowns of in the pop genre. I'll be happy to do it in future videos. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Keep making music and I will see you in the next video.